If you're using the desktop version of QuickBooks Payroll, you can have Jackrabbit create an IIF file of staff hours and export it to QuickBooks for payroll processing. Please note that Jackrabbit only integrates in this way with the desktop version of QuickBooks. If you use QuickBooks Online, you can transfer this data as well, but the process will have to be done manually. Make sure your Jackrabbit department and employee names are the same as the QuickBooks payroll item and employee names. If there are any differences, your payroll information may not be correct. We highly recommend that you copy and paste the department and employee names from one program to the other to ensure that they are exactly the same in both programs. If the employee names don't match, a new employee will be created during the import process. For instance, QuickBooks won't recognize your employee Jen Beta if her name in Jackrabbit is Jen A Beta. Then set up the employee QuickBooks settings. Go to the Edit menu and click on Preferences. Scroll down that list and click on Payroll and Employees. Click on the Company Preferences tab where both of the recall options must be unchecked. Then scroll further and click on Time and Expenses. Then the Company Preferences tab. Make sure you set Do You Track Time to Yes. Starting with Payroll Center. Select the employee and click on Payroll and Compensation Info from the drop-down list. Make sure the use time data to create paychecks is checked. It's not mandatory, but it is helpful if you've already entered the payroll item and the hourly or annual rate information into QuickBooks before you import. If you don't have those entered, you'll have to do it during the first import process. Any other types of time you use, including vacation, sick, holiday, or personal time, also needs to be entered into QuickBooks as payroll items and have a pay rate assigned. This is important for time tracking and for the employee's pay stub. If you use classes in QuickBooks, your classes names must match the Jackrabbit department names exactly. In QuickBooks, start with the Edit menu and select Preferences. Scroll down and click on Accounting, then on the Company Preferences tab. Both the Use Class Tracking and Prompt to Assign Classes must be checked. On that same Preferences page, scroll down and click on Payroll and Employees. Click on the Company Preferences tab and make sure the Job Costing class and Item Tracking for Paycheck Expenses are checked. Then set the Assign 1 class to Earnings. We highly recommend that you import some test data before importing the full pay period to QuickBooks. Try importing just a couple of employees' hours into QuickBooks to make sure they're set up correctly. And check your payroll module for accuracy. You can always delete this test data once you've confirmed that everything is correct.